Sometimes Maran records customs in Shohan Aruch, but not all of these customs were necessarily observed in every Middle Eastern community. An example of this is with regards to Birkat Mazon, when Maran wrote that it's customary to cover the knives during Birkat Mazon, except on Shabbat and Yom Tov, when Birkat Mazon is recited without covering the knives. In the Beit Yosef, Maran cited the Rokeyah, a 13th century authority from Germany, the Shibuli Haleket, a 13th century authority from Italy, and the Rabbi David Abu Darham, a 14th century authority from Spain, as the sources for this custom. Both the Rokeyah and the Abu Darham provided a similar reason for this custom. The Gemara taught that a person's table serves as an atonement for him, in place of an altar, in times when there is no Beit HaMikdash. The Gemara learned this from a verse in the book of Yehezkel, when Yehezkel saw a vision of the altar in the future Beit HaMikdash. The verse describing the altar concluded with Yehezkel being told, Shulhan asher Adonai. This is the table in front of Hashem. Based on this verse that called the altar a table, the rabbis taught that our tables are like an altar that is used for atonement. And since the Torah taught that the altar may not be built with metal tools, it became customary to cover the knives after the meal while reciting Birkat Amazon. The Abu Darham explained that since the table is like an altar that atones for sin and lengthens one's life, it's not appropriate for a knife which could also be used as a weapon and shorten life to be left on the table while, while the blessing is being recited. And according to the Abu Darham and the Shibuli HaLeket, the custom is to remove the knives from the table before reciting Birkat HaMazon. However, on Shaban and Yom Tov, when it's not permitted to build an altar, it was customary to leave the knives on the table uncovered. Other sources provided different reasons for this custom. According to the Mikubalim, knives must be removed from the table before Birkat HaMazon. Covering them is not sufficient, and many Mikubalim remove the knives from the table before reciting Birkat HaMazon on Shabbat and on holidays as well. However, Achim Yitzhak Shehebar wrote in his book, Yitzhak Yirannin, that it was not customary in Halab to remove knives from the table before reciting Birkat HaMazon. So the custom of covering or removing knives from the table before Birkat HaMazon was first recorded in Germany and in, and in Italy in the 13th century, and then in Spain in the 14th century. Maran included this custom in Shohan Aruch in the 16th century, and this custom was also practiced by the Mikubalim as well. However, the prevalent custom in Halab was to leave the knives on the table uncovered during Birkat HaMazon, whether it was a weekday, Shabbat, or a holiday. This is an example of a custom recorded by Maran and Shohan Aruch that was customary in some places, but not necessarily customary in all places. And even after Maran included this custom in Shohar Aruch, it did not become customary in Halab.